Last time, we learned how to set up the Euler-Cromer method in a computer to reverse the derivative. To do so, we need initial values for x and y, an expression for the derivative, and a small step size. If you're in a physics class, you'll learn that velocity is the derivative of position, which means that we can apply the Euler-Cromer method to velocity and position if we make a few changes. First, we replace the function y with the position r. Second, we replace the derivative dy dx with the velocity v. Third, we replace the small step size delta x with a small step size delta t. Lastly, we need to promote the position and velocity from single numbers to vectors. A vector is a collection of three numbers called components. For the position, the three components are the coordinates x, y, and z. For the velocity, the three components are the speeds vx, vy, and vz. Even though vectors are slightly more complicated than single numbers, the Euler-Cromer method still works. In the description below is a link to this code that you can copy, modify, and run to apply the Euler-Cromer method to position and velocity. This code is nearly identical to our previous code, with just a few changes. Our independent variable is now time instead of x. Our function is now the position vector. Our derivative is now the velocity, which is also a vector. And we now have three graphs, one for the x-coordinate, one for the y-coordinate, and one for the z-coordinate. But the Euler-Cromer method in line 19 works the same way as it did before. To learn more about using vectors in vPython, see the videos linked in the description below. In the first scenario we'll look at, we've set the speed in the x direction to be zero, we've set the speed in the y direction to be constant, and we've set the speed in the z direction to increase with time. Let's run the code and see how our position changes with this expression for velocity. The first thing to note is that our x coordinate in green does not change. That's because its velocity component is zero. However, the y coordinate in red makes a line. That's because its velocity component is constant. Finally, the z coordinate in blue makes a parabola, a function with an increasing slope. That's because its velocity component increases linearly with time. As before, we can change these velocity components to be anything we like. Suppose we keep the x component and the z component the same, but make the y component decrease with time. This means that the y coordinate should do the opposite of whatever the z coordinate does. If we run the code, that's exactly what we see an upward parabola for the z-coordinate and a downward parabola for the y-coordinate. You should now be able to use the Euler-Cromer method to find position based on a velocity. Follow the link in the description below to use this code to apply the Euler-Cromer method for the following formulas for the velocity and initial values of position. In the next video, we'll look at how we use the Euler-Cromer method in physics to relate an object's momentum to its velocity and position, and we'll learn how to create an animation from our code.